in this tutorial we will learn how to install rasa uh, on ubuntu so let's first check the rasa version if it is installed or not okay it is not been installed so let's first check the python version okay so first of all you need to log in as root user so now i am in the root user if you are not logging with the root user then you may face uh, some installation problem and your installation may not be uh, it may be corrupted or something like that so first of all make sure that you are logging with the root user so then after <coughs> the python version so just install um f3 python as per demo command and install it this yes Let's go on. It may say, take some time. I think the Rasa installation will also take um, maybe some time around five minutes something. But before that, we need we need to make sure that the pip is pip three is been installed over there. okay so it the pip has been installed so let's check the version it might be lower version then we'll have to upgrade so it is the pip 9.0.1 might be the lower version so let's upgrade it so for upgrade just type this command python 3 minus m pip install And then pip. So let's check the pip three version. Okay, so now the version has been upgraded. So now it's simple. Um, let's check also the GCG version, mm -hmm. which is also sometimes required okay so it is also there so now let's the command to install the rasa is simple pip3 install and rasa so this will take um, some time so let's wait for some time to happen over there i'll not pause the video so that you can know that what kind of libraries it has been installing can also check the progress of downloading and installing all of the required libraries so you can sync up with the installation
don't worry about the errors you are saying the installation will take care of it been installed so let's check the rasa version okay so it's 1.8.0 so don't worry about the initial error there won't be have any issues while creating any sort of a initial project for the rasa so let's execute uh, first rasa init which will create a hello world sort of uh, um, project for your chatbot uh, this is uh, just asking whether you want to set up all the files in the current directory okay just press and enter yes and it will uh, just uh, train the data which is being in the uh, default for the rasa in the project and it will prompt you these are nothing but the training life cycle on um, pipeline sorry uh, for the rasa so different pipelines for uh, vector feturizers or which are required for the intent uh, classification and the entity extraction for the rasa so just uh, wait some more time and your nlu model has been trained now this is asking that whether you want to test or not yes so it's listening you the rasa server okay you can just say hi it will reply you something you can say that okay i'm good okay if it is said then it can give you some sort of a, a link so that you it can make you happy if i say said okay so it gives you a um, beautiful link and go to the browser and paste that link okay that's cute picture and just say that okay it helped me so you can say goodbye and then it will say bye that's pretty cool feature of the rasa i hope you enjoyed this video um i'll also write some more or i also some write some code for the rasa in the future how can we create or leverage some sort of a rasa uh, using the rasa any sort of a chatbot project and also uh, we'll make some videos to get an installation on other operating system like uh, centos or maybe a windows because more many of the programmer started working in windows so windows does require some sort of configuration like uh, some build tools are required before you are installing the rasa okay have a nice day goodbye